So in this video, we're going to talk about the nomenclature of amides, okay? And first thing, we're going to start with primary amides. Now, good thing to know is that the longest continuous chain, so if it's hexane, we drop the E and add amide. So it would be hexanamide, okay? So, so that's the idea. See, so that's why I put this there. So if it was ethane, we drop the E and ethanamide, okay? So these are, notice that these are primary amides. We have... Uh, two, hy uh, two hydrogens um, bonded to the nitrogen. And so how we name them is, is pretty simple. We, we look at the longest continuous carbon chain and uh, we draw the E and add or, um, or amide there. So we always got to start from the carbonyl carbon. So this is one, two, three. Okay. So this is one, two, three. So in this case, it would be propane. But because we're dealing with an amide, this should actually be propan. Amide. Okay. Now, what about this one? Well, again, start from a carbonyl. Count your longest continuous carbon chain. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So in this case, this would actually be pentan amide. Pentamide. Okay. Now, what about this one? Well, to me, again, longest continuous carbon chain. This is one, two, three, four. So this is butanamide so this is butanamide but we have a bromine here and so this would be two bromo butanamide okay so again the primary amides are pretty much not difficult um to 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 uh really uh tell the name we just need to know that we drop the the e of the alkane name and add this amide here again just like usual we just list our substituents now with secondary amides we actually will use the uppercase letter n to locate where the substituents are on the nitrogen atom now secondary amides in case you don't know we have only one we have an excess of one hydrogen okay and so let's look at some examples so what would we name this well, to me, let's look at the longest continuous carbon chain first to name our parent. This is one, two, three. So in this case, this would be propanamide. So the longest continuous chain is propanamide. But again, we use N to locate what's a substituent on the nitrogen atom. And so it looks to me as if I, as a substituent, I have an N methyl. Okay. So this would be N dash methyl pro pan amide okay now what about this one well again it looks to me as if my longest continuous carbon chain starting from the carbonyl is one two so this is ethanamide okay now what do i have bonded on the nitrogen i give it an n and the substituent is a phenyl so this will be n dash phenyl f then amide. So this is the N phenyl ethanamide. Okay, so again, the, uh, nothing difficult. Uh, as long as you could follow this rule here, all we're doing is giving writing N, and we're just listing the substituent of the, the nitrogen in it. Now, what about tertiary tertiary amides? Well, now we have an excess of no hydrogens. And the idea is the same for the secondary and tertiary amide. The only difference is that we use two ends instead because it's tertiary. Okay. And so how do we name this? Well, again, what's our longest continuous chain? This is one, two, three. So we know the parent is propane. Uh, so let's say the parent in this case will be propan amide. Okay, we drop the E and add this amide here. So the parent will be propanamide. Now as a substituent, we have an N dash methyl. And we also have another N dash methyl. And this is the reason why we use two Ns instead because we got to give each one of these substituents an N. In case of the, the, second, the, the, uh, the secondary amides, we only had one N. And so it was just the one end and the substituent after, okay? In this case, we gotta give them both uh, both um, both ends. And so writing this as, as a full IUPAC name, this would be N, N, 
dash, well, we have two methyls, so we could prefix that as dimethyl, NN-dimethylpropanamide. Okay, so that's the only difference between naming secondary amide, uh, tertiary amides and secondary amides. So again, nothing difficult. 